When we look back to the world's history, people only dreamt about flying, but things have changed now when we discovered the basics of flying. Here are the top 10 fastest aircraft in the world. Number 1. The General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark. The General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark is a retired American supersonic, medium-range interdictor, and tactical attack aircraft that also filled the roles of strategic nuclear bomber, aerial reconnaissance, and electronic warfare aircraft in its various versions. It provided a maximum speed of Mach 2.3, which is 1,450 miles per hour, or 2,300 kilometers per hour, at an altitude. It was developed in the 1960s by General Dynamics, and it entered service in 1967 with the United States Air Force. The Royal Australian Air Force also ordered the type and began operating F-111 in 1973. The F-111 pioneered several technologies for production aircraft, including variable sweep wings, afterburning turbofan engines, and automated terrain following radar for low-level high-speed flight. Its design influenced later variable sweep wing aircraft, and some of its advanced features have since become commonplace. The F-111 suffered a variety of problems during its initial development. Several of its intended roles, such as an aircraft carrier-based naval interceptor with the F-111B, failed to materialize. The United States Air Force F-111 were retired during the 1990s with the F-111F in 1996 and the F-111 in 1998. The F-111 was replaced in the United States Air Force service by the F-15E Strike Eagle for medium-range precision strike missions, while the supersonic bomber role has been assumed by the B-1B Lancer. The Royal Australian Air Force was the last operator of the F-111, with its aircraft serving until December 2010. Number 2. The Sukhoi Su-27. Sukhoi Su-27, also called a flanker, a Russian air superiority fighter plane that was introduced into the air forces of the Soviet Union beginning in 1985. Work on the Su-27 began at the Sukhoi Design Bureau in 1969 in direct response to the development of the F-15 Eagle fighter of the United States. While early prototypes were seen as inferior to the F-15, chief designer Mikhail Simonov gradually molded the Su-27 into what was arguably the finest air superiority platform of the 20th century. Like its Cold War counterpart, the Su-27 developed into a large long-range interceptor, powered by twin turbofan engines and displaying remarkable agility for its size. It is capable of flying at more than twice the speed of sound, has a service ceiling higher than 18,000 meters or 59,000 feet, and has a flight range of more than 3,000 kilometers or 1,800 miles. Number 3. The MiG-25 Foxbat. The MiG-25 Foxbat is a supersonic interceptor and reconnaissance aircraft and was among the fastest military aircraft to enter service. It was designed by the Soviet Union and is one of the few combat aircraft built primarily using stainless steel. It was the last claim designed by Mikhail Gurevich before his retirement. The first prototype flew in 1964 and entered services as an aircraft in 1970. It has an operational top speed of Mach 2.83. Mach 3.2 is possible but can be significantly dangerous to the engine and features a powerful radar and four air-to-air -air missiles. The appearances of the MiG-25 sparked serious concern in the West and prompted dramatic increases in performance for the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle. Production of the MiG-25 series ended in 1984 after the completion of almost 1,200 aircraft. This was a huge symbol of the Cold War. The MiG-25 flew with Soviet allies and former Soviet republics. It's one of the highest flying military aircraft and the second fastest after the SR-71, but how fast is it? Like I stated earlier it could reach Mach 3.2 at high altitude which is over 2200 miles per hour, but at low altitudes, it can still reach Mach 1 going about 800 miles an hour. With just internal fuel it can travel about 1000 miles, and it has a service ceiling of about 70,000 feet, when loaded with 4 missiles. It can handle a maximum G load of 4.5 G. Number 4. The MiG-31 Foxhound. MiG-31 Foxhound is a long-range, two-seat supersonic interceptor aircraft offered by Russian Aircraft Corporation principally for the Russian and Kazakhstan Air Forces. The MiG-31 aircraft was derived from the MiG-25 Foxbat interceptor and is equipped with state-of-the-art digital avionics. MiG-31 can work efficiently in all weather conditions while fulfilling visual flight rules and instrument flight rules, day and night. 
it was the first Soviet fighter aircraft to have true look-down and shoot-down capability. The MiG-31 was developed to fly at low altitudes with required supersonic speeds. It has a highly aerodynamic and streamlined body to enable flying at high speeds at low altitudes. The aircraft is specifically designed to track multiple targets simultaneously at high altitudes. The engine provides a maximum speed of Mach 1.23 at low altitude and increases the aircraft's range. The fuel consumption of the MiG-31 is very high compared to other aircraft, principally due to its multiple roles. This beast of an aircraft can climb at a rate of 208 meters per second and can fly at 3,000 kilometers per hour. Number 5. The XB-70 Valkyrie. The North American Aviation XB-70 Valkyrie was the prototype version of the planned B-70 nuclear-armed, deep-penetration strategic bomber for the United States Air Force Strategic Air Command. Designed in the late 1950s by North American Aviation, the six-engine Valkyrie was capable of cruising for thousands of miles at Mach 3 Plus, while flying at 70,000 feet or 21,000 meters. At these speeds, it was expected that the B-70 would be practically immune to interceptor aircraft, the only effective weapon against bomber aircraft at the time. The bomber would spend only a brief time over a particular radar station, flying out of its range before the controllers could position their fighters in a suitable location for an interception. High speed also made the aircraft difficult to see on radar displays, and its high altitude and high speed capacity could not be matched by any contemporaneous Soviet interceptor or fighter aircraft. The introduction of the first Soviet surface-to-air missiles in the late 1950s put the near invulnerability of the B-70 in doubt. In response, the United States Air Force began flying its missions at a low level, where the missile radar's line of sight was limited by terrain. In this low-level penetration role, the B-70 offered little additional performance over the B-52. It was meant to replace, while being far more expensive with a shorter range. Other alternate missions were proposed, but these were of limited scope. With the advent of intercontinental ballistic missiles during the late 1950s, manned bombers were increasingly seen as obsolete. The United States Air Force eventually gave up fighting for its production, and the B-70 program was cancelled in 1961. Number 6. The Bell X-2 Starburster. The Bell X-2 was an X-plane research aircraft built to investigate flight characteristics in the Mach 2-3 range. It was rocket-powered and was developed in 1945 by Bell Aircraft Corporation. Lt. Col. Frank K. Pete Everest completed the first powered flight in the No. 1 airplane on November 18, 1955. At the time of his ninth and final flight in late July 1956, the project was years behind schedule, but he had established a new speed record of Mach 2.87 around 1900 miles per hour. While the X-2 was delivering valuable research data on high-speed aerodynamic heat buildup and extreme high-altitude flight conditions, an incident where the X-2 tumbled violently out of control led to the termination of the program. When this aircraft goes as fast as it could, it could get up to Mach 3.2, or about 2200 miles an hour, and a service ceiling of 126,000 feet which is the highest of any plane we've talked about so far that almost takes you out of the stratosphere. Number 7. The SR-71 Blackbird. The Lockheed SR-71 is a long-range Mach 3 Plus strategic reconnaissance aircraft operated by the United States Air Force. It was developed as a black project from the Lockheed A-12 reconnaissance aircraft in the 1960s in the Lockheed Skunk Works Division. American aerospace engineer Clarence Kelly Johnson was responsible for many of the design's innovative concepts. It operated at high speeds and altitudes to allow it to outrace threats. If the surface-to-air missile launch was detected, the standard evasive action was to simply accelerate and outfly the missile. A total of 32 of these aircraft were built and 12 were lost in accidents, but none were lost to enemy action. It served at the U.S. Air Force from 1964 to 1998. It holds two crew, the pilot and one reconnaissance systems officer. It reaches a speed of Mach 3.3 which is more than 2200 miles per hour at about 80,000 feet its service ceiling was 85,000. This aircraft moves fast, and it reaches a very high altitude. Number 8. The Boeing X-51 Wave Rider. The Boeing X-51 Wave Rider is an unmanned research scramjet experimental aircraft for hypersonic flight. 
it was designed in 2005 and completed its first powered hypersonic flight in May of 2010. It reached speeds of Mach 5 for over 210 seconds on May 1, 2013 for the longest duration powered hypersonic flight. The Wave Rider title refers to the aircraft's ability to take advantage of the compression lift produced by its shockwaves. X-51 technology is proposed for use in high-speed strike weapons. A Mach 5 Plus missile could enter service in the mid-2020s. Its maximum speed is somewhere greater than 3,900 miles per hour. It could reach Mach 5, but its true limits haven't been tested yet. With a speed of Mach 5, it could range about 460 miles, however, that means that if it's on an aircraft carrier it's a dangerous threat, especially if it's dropping Mach 5 missiles. Number 9. The X-15. The North American X-15 was a hypersonic rocket-powered aircraft operated by the United States as part of the X-Plane series of experimental aircraft. It set speed and altitude records in the 1960s, reaching the edge of outer space and returning with valuable data used in aircraft and spacecraft design. X-15 holds the official world record for the highest speed ever recorded by a man-powered aircraft set in October 1967. William James Knight flew Mach 6.72 at 100,000 feet. A speed of over 4,500 miles an hour, this has remained unchallenged, as of today for obvious reason. Pilots who fly this plane are not always qualified as astronauts, but they often are. It holds one person, and it can reach a speed as far as we know of 4,520 miles an hour. But it can probably go faster. It can go 67 miles above ground level in return, and it can climb at 60,000 feet per minute. And for our last aircraft in this list, number 10. The NASA X-43. The NASA X-43 was an experimental unmanned hypersonic aircraft with multiple planned scale variations meant to test various aspects of hypersonic flight. It was part of the X-Plane series, and specifically of NASA's HyperX program. It set several airspeed records for jet aircraft. The X-43 is the fastest aircraft on record at approximately Mach 9.6. A wing booster rocket with the X-43 placed on top, called a stack, was drop-launched from a Boeing B-52. Once the B-52 reached the target speed and altitude, the stack was discarded, and the X-43 flew free using its engine, a scramjet. The first plane in the series, the X-43A, was a single-use vehicle, of which three were built. The first X-43A was destroyed after malfunctioning in flight in 2001. Each of the other two flew successfully in 2004, setting speed records. Plans for more planes in the X-43 series have been suspended and replaced by the United States Air Force-managed X-51 program. So that was the 10 fastest aircraft in the world in 2021. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe button if you've enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more videos.